Step to the top of your mat and allow yourself to balance your knees and shake out your hands, cultivating some energy and breathing deeply. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. As you exhale, hinge from the hips and fold, letting your head go down last. On the in-breath, come halfway, take your gaze up. When you exhale, plant hands to the mat, step up or walk back into your plank pose. Drop knees to the mat far apart and settle back into your child's pose, adding any movement that helps you to open. Bring your breath right into the back of your heart, feeling the expansion of the inhalation. And as you exhale, walk your hands over to the left side of the mat, draw back through the right hip and trace the length in the whole right side of your body. Big breath in. As you exhale, walk hands over to the other side, drawing back on the left hip, tracing the length in the left side of the body. Big breath in. As you exhale, walk hands back out in front of you, coming into tabletop position. Begin to flow through some cat and cow postures, coordinating breath with movement letting this be easy and fluid. Begin to add any additional movement that helps you to open, taking the ribs in circles or the hips in circles. Taking the spine in all of the directions, so expanding and contracting, swaying. Pick up your left leg, draw the knee in toward the nose and then extend the leg back. Begin to explore all the space around you with the left leg, getting into the hips, Expanding your range of motion in the left leg. One more deep inhalation and exhalation and settle that knee back down. Pick up the right leg, draw the knee in toward the nose, then extend it back and begin to explore all the space around you with the right leg, taking the hips in circles, expanding your range of motion in the right leg. Pick up the right hand, the right arm, and sweep it through the place between the left wrist and the knee, and then begin to take the arm all around you, getting into the shoulder joint, expanding the range of motion in the right arm. Feel free to continue to add movement the whole time or to find a posture or a couple of postures that you can pause and breathe into. Pressing into the right hand, pick up the left hand, sweep it through, and then begin to take the arm in circles and explore all the space around you with that left hand. And again, feel free to add movement the whole time or find a couple of yoga postures that you can pause and breathe into. Slowly come up onto your knees, shake the wrists out, and press your way back into Downward Facing Dog. Take some time to pedal out the heels, stretching across the calves and the hamstrings here. Deepen your breath. We'll begin to add some flow and movement. So come forward, drop the knees into tabletop position, drop the belly, lift the heart, gaze up. As you exhale, press the mat away from you. 
and send your hips back into downward facing dog continue to flow through this undulating the spine forward coming into your cow posture and as you exhale tuck and round pressing back into downward facing dog so just continue flowing through this following your rhythm On your next exhalation, press your way back into a child's pose. Inhale, sweep arms up, exhale, dive back down. Moving from a seed to a tree pose. Inhaling as you come up and exhaling as you go back down. You can move slowly or quickly, just follow your own breath, your own rhythm. And then slowly release this, coming into a camel pose. You can continue to add movement as you see in the video or simply take your hands to your lower back, fingers face down, sending hips forward, lifting through the heart, really sensing the expansion across the upper chest here. So what you'll see in the video is me flowing side to side. One hand drops down to the heel, other arm sweeps up, taking some circles of the arm and then switching side to side. Begin to cartwheel your hands back down to the mat Curl toes under and press your way back into downward facing dog, continuing to add movement, add breath, breathing into the sensation you feel in your body. Gaze up between your hands, step up or walk to the top of the mat. And as you exhale, let the head shake out, bounce your way all the way up to standing, continuing to add the bounce when you arrive all the way in an upward position. Inhale, sweep arms up overhead. As you exhale, hinge from the hips and fold, letting the head go. Step into your right foot. Take a big step back with your left foot. Coming into a low lunge, sweep your arms up and begin to pulse through the hips a little bit. As you exhale, turn hands away from each other, clasping hands behind you, lifting through the heart. Big breath in. As you exhale, melt over your front thigh, framing your front foot, and begin to flow through some half splits and low lunge here, just moving forward and then backward. You'll see some additional movement in the video. You can begin to look over one shoulder and then the other as you come forward into your low lunge. And also take the hips in circles, finding breath, finding flow, and finding ease here. Slowly slide your right foot back into your seed pose and begin to move once again from seed to tree, inviting in some bastrika breathing, some bastrika pranayama. The next time your hands come up, release the hands, making your way back into a tabletop position. Begin to flow through some movement here, rotating in the hips in circles and the ribs in circles. Moving into your own prana flow from this tabletop position, just coordinating breath with movement.
On your next exhalation, press your way back into Downward Facing Dog. Gaze up between your hands, step hop or walk to the top of the mat, clasp hands behind you in a yoga mudra position. Allow hands to approach the floor in front of you. And then pull hands up, coming into a chair pose. Once again, coming all the way into extended mountain posture. As you exhale, hands come down to your side. Let yourself shake it out, adding a bounce to the knees, shaking the hands out. And begin to pat yourself down. So add a little patting motion to the chest and work your way all the way down your legs, the front of the legs, the back of the legs, the belly. Coming up through standing, inhale, sweep arms up overhead. As you exhale, hinge from the hips and fold. This time, step into your left foot, step back with your right foot into a low lunge. As you exhale, separate hands away from each other, clasping hands behind you, lifting through the upper chest, lifting through the heart. As you exhale, frame that front foot with the hands and begin to flow between your low lunge and your half splits position. You can keep the front knee bent as much as you need to. And begin to add any movement here that helps you to open. You can see some examples in the video, but just tune into your body, tune into your flow and begin to explore the body for sensation. Slowly press back into your seed posture, and this time take hands to the floor and begin to roll onto the top of the head, just giving your head a massage on the floor here. So there's no right way of doing this. You can continue massaging out the head or begin to set yourself up for a headstand. We won't move into a headstand unless you feel compelled to. Let's explore the sensation of creating that inversion, lifting one leg up and then the other. Adding the press of the wrists and the elbows into the floor, the forearms into the floor, and then come back down through a child's pose. Roll up, swing your legs around, and begin to add a little bounce to the knees. As you exhale, hands turn away from each other, coming into upward facing tabletop. So continue to flow through this, coming through a seated position with legs extended, bouncing the knees, shaking the hands out, and then hands press into the earth, coming into upward facing tabletop, knees over ankles, shoulders over wrists. Next time you settle back down, pick up the right foot and begin to stir the pot with the right foot, getting into the hip. Exploring the space around you with that leg. And then slowly bring the toe up toward the ceiling, leg in toward the chest, cradle the leg. And if you'd like to, you can place right foot in the opposite elbow crease, reaching arms all the way around, pulling the leg in a little bit closer, lifting heart toward the leg and breathing. Holding onto that right foot, settle down onto the left forearm as so you're just lounging and take the knee to the inside and the outside of the arm and then begin to explore all of the space around you with that foot. So there's no right way of doing this, just some movement exploration here, breathing into the sensations you feel. Allow the leg to pull you up through center through a seated position, add a little bounce to the legs. When you're ready, pick up the left foot this time, stirring the pot with the left foot. Getting into the hip, breathing into the sensation you feel. Begin to explore the space around you with that foot and then draw the leg in toward you. Left foot is flexed, cradling the leg, 
adding rocking and swaying that helps you to open. Take your left hand to the outer edge of the foot and lounge back on your right hand. Begin to take the knee to the inside and the outside of the arm. And then explore all the space around you with that foot, breathing into the sensation you feel here. Allow the foot to pull you up through center, adding a bounce to the knee, shaking out the hand. Begin to scoot your hips forward toward the top of the mat and take your legs to a diamond shape. Work your thumbs into the arches of your feet and then work your hands up your shins, giving yourself a little massage. And from here, pick up your feet and begin some spinal rocking. So if this is too difficult, you can always hold on underneath your thighs, but moving between this butterfly position and going all the way onto your back into almost a plow shape can really help activate the muscles of the hamstrings and the core and get into new areas of the body. So just coordinate breath with movement here. Let this be easy. Find your flow. And the next time you go onto your back, let your legs settle down and bring your hands underneath your thighs into a restorative happy baby position. You can add some rocking or swaying if it helps you to open. If you'd like to go deeper, bring your hands to the outer edges of the feet. Knees come in toward the armpits, feet are standing on the ceiling. Continue to add any movement here that helps you to open. Big breath in as you exhale, release feet down and set yourself up for a bridge pose. So this will be a modified bridge pose. Cactus your arms up overhead. As you exhale, press into the feet, sending the hips up and then pulse your way back down and continue to flow through this. So as you exhale, press into the feet, sending hips up. Big breath into the top, and as you exhale, pulse your way back down, just flowing through bridge, and then tracing spine all the way down, adding a little pulsing, a little rocking, a little bit of movement. Next time you settle back down, take your feet a little further apart, let knees fall side to side, and take your gaze toward or over the opposite shoulder, just rocking side to side. Begin to coordinate your breath with this movement lengthening the exhalation. Next time you come through center, pick up the left leg. Imagine there's a paintbrush between the big toe and second toe and begin to paint all across the ceiling and the opposite walls, exploring all the space around you with this leg. Coordinating breath with movement, letting this be easy. And bring your breath into the sensation you feel. As though you're sitting at a desk, Cross your left leg over the right leg and begin to scoot your hips toward the left side of the mat as you let your knees fall across the body to the right side, taking your gaze toward or over the opposite shoulder. Come back through center and extend left foot up toward the ceiling before lowering it slowly all the way to the ground. Then extend right foot to great left foot. Pause and notice one side, then the other, any difference between the two. Walk your feet back up a comfortable standing distance from the hips and move back into your modified bridge flow sequence. So as you exhale, press into the feet, sending the hips up and then pulse your way back down. Add any additional movement that helps you to open here. It's really finding the expansion on the inhalation across the chest and then pulsing, tracing spine. Pick up your right foot this time. Imagine there's a paintbrush between the big toe and second toe and begin to paint across the ceiling and across the walls, exploring all the space around you, breathing into the sensation you find in your body. Coordinate your breath with this movement, letting this be fluid and easy. And then cross the right leg over left leg, scoot hips toward the right side of the mat this time, and let knees fall across the body to the opposite side, taking your gaze toward or over the opposite shoulder, completing the spinal twist. Come back up through center and release the right leg up toward the ceiling. 
point and spread the toes, release foot all the way to the ground, and then extend left leg to greet right foot. When you land on your back, notice right side, left side, any difference. From here, begin some heel rocking. Press both feet forward as you're pressing into gas pedals and then release, pressing and releasing. Head rocks in a yes-like motion, creating a cranial sacral connection. And then pause, notice pulsing, streaming, tingling sensations in the body. Let the head rock, one ear pushes the ground and then the other. The next time your head rocks toward the right shoulder, move that same hand down toward the foot, making some more room for yourself. And then as the head rocks over toward the left shoulder, stretch left hand down toward left foot, making room for yourself continuing to deepen the C-shape of the spine on both sides. And then bend at the knees, plant the feet onto the floor, hip width apart. Press into one foot and then the other, creating some alternate hip thumping here. You can add any variation you like to add here. And then reach the left hand up overhead, roll onto your left side, and then reach that right foot out in front of you, exploring all the space in front of you, and then extend it behind you, exploring the space behind you. Just moving the right foot all around you, exploring space, exploring your body for sensation. The next time foot's out in front of you, reach the right arm back behind you, opening up and begin to coordinate moving the right hand in the opposite direction to the foot. So you're creating a spinal twist in both directions here. And you're gonna let the head roll along with the motion of the arm over the extended arm. Just add movement here, add breath, and breathe into the sensation you feel. You can move slowly or quickly or somewhere between the two. Allow the breath to be free and fluid. Allow the exhalation to grow a little bit longer than the inhalation. Coming through center, pause. Then begin to roll around onto the other side. Right arm extends up overhead. You just lounge on your right arm and then left leg comes behind you exploring all the space around you and then left leg comes in front of you exploring the space around you make sure you have enough space i ran out of space in my video so just continue exploring the space around you with the left leg first reaching behind and then reaching in front of you coordinating breath with movement and breathing into the sensation you feel And as you're ready, the next time your leg is in front of you, reach that left hand out, completing a spinal twist, and begin to move the left arm in the opposite direction to the leg. You let the head roll in the same direction as the arm. Just breathing and moving and exploring your body for sensation here. So there's no right way or wrong way of doing this. This is just an exploration into your own experience, into your own body here. 
Letting this be easy and fluid and finding your flow. One more deep breath here. Deep inhalation, even longer exhalation, and then come through center. Allow yourself to roll back up into your butterfly position, creating a nice diamond shape with the legs. Crown of the head approaches the arches of the feet. And if you have a pillow or a bolster, you can bring the soles of your feet together here, letting the knees fall out to the side and just melt back over that pillow or bolster. And if you don't have one in your practice today, you can bring the soles of your feet together, just lying down on your back. And Supta Baddha Konasana. Breathing into the heart, breathing into the hips. Feel free to roll up some blankets and place them underneath your thighs for support here. Add some blocks underneath your legs. So you can really melt into this posture. See if you can soften around the eyes and the mouth and the jaw. Slowing, deepening, and lengthening the breath here. Letting yourself melt and relax into these final postures. You'll see me taking some variations here. So I'm sweeping hands around as though I'm hugging myself, hugging opposite shoulder blades. And this is to really find some expansion across the upper back. So if you choose to join me here, you can just draw hands in toward each other, really clasping yourself. And then when you're ready, you can release hands and take the opposite hand on top to stay balanced and even between the sides of your body. Feel free to add any additional movement that helps you to open. You can check in with your own body and see what energy is moving from within you. Allow yourself to continue to move into any postures from this position that complete your practice, that help you to open just finding your own breath, your own rhythm, your own yoga here. Allowing prana and energy to flow through you. Slowly come out of this posture and make your way into an inversion practice. So I'm demoing legs up the wall, but feel free to flow into any inversion practice that suits you well today. You can take another bridge pose, legs up the wall, stick something underneath your hips and send the feet up, shoulder stands, head stands, hand stands. Or if your body is asking for something different, you can honor your body and continue to flow through spinal twists or anything else that helps you to complete your practice. See if you can relax the muscles of the eyes and the mouth and the jaw. 
Relax the muscles of the shoulders and the arms and the hands. From here, slowly make your way into your Shavasana position and find your way into the final resting posture. So what you'll see in the video is some heel rocking leading into Shavasana. So feel free to join me there. Heel rocking until you feel compelled to pause. And when you pause, notice pulsing, streaming, tingling sensations in the body, signs of energy and life force and prana flowing through you revitalizing your cells, reconnecting with your natural stream of wellness that's always present. And here you can just let go of your practice, surrendering, receiving all the benefits of showing up for yourself so fully and so lovingly this morning. I honor the place inside of you where the entire universe resides. It is a place of love, of light, of truth, and of peace. When you are in that place in you, and I am in that place in me, we are one. Namaste.